Hello folks, I am Georgios Papadopoulos and welcome to this video on hidden node problem in wireless networks. As we saw in our previous videos, the original CSMA MAC protocol, the Sense Before Transmit or Listen Before Talk, improves the performance of a wireless network when compared against the Aloha MAC protocols by reducing the probability of a collision. Indeed, under CSMA, a transmitting node uses a carrier sense mechanism to sense the shared transmission medium to determine if it is in idle or busy state. If the medium is busy, then the node waits for the transmission in progress to end before initiating its own transmission. When the shared channel becomes idle, the node starts its own frame transmission. However, even though the CSMA MAC protocol reduces the probability of a collision, it cannot eliminate it. Now, there are a few scenarios that might cause a collision in CSMA, and one of them is called the hidden node problem. The hidden node problem arises in wireless networks when two nodes can communicate with a common third node, but cannot directly communicate with each other due to obstacles or being out of range. This may result in collisions at the third node if both nodes transmit simultaneously. Now, let us dive deeper to better understand it. Let's assume that there are three nodes, A, B and C, and each node comes with a propagation range that allows them to communicate only with their direct neighbors. More specifically, node A can communicate only with node B. Node C can also communicate only with node B. And finally, the node B may communicate both with nodes A and C. However, nodes A and C cannot communicate with each other as they are out of range. These nodes a and C are known as the hidden nodes. The problem is when nodes A and C perform the carrier sense mechanism of CSMA simultaneously to detect that the shared channel is idle and start to transmit frames to the common destination node B. Because the nodes A and C cannot receive each other's signals, thus they cannot detect the collision before or while transmitting, a collision will occur, and as a result, the node B receives corrupted frames. There are protocol solutions to the hidden node problem. For example, the RTS-CTS mechanism helps to address this issue by enabling nodes to reserve the shared channel prior to transmission. In one of, of our future videos, we are going to talk about it, so stay tuned. And that's all, folks, on hidden node problem in wireless networks.